All right, Chris. So let's dive into, let's talk about chroma keys first. How can we use, how can we use chroma keys? What can we use them with? Uh, how do they work? Yeah, sure. So basically uh, a great example of a chroma key would be, think of uh, a newscaster. He, uh, think of a weatherman, he's on the screen, he's looking back, pointing to the different slides or the graphics that they're generating. Okay, I think we got one on CG2. So right there, you're seeing the graphic, it's coming from CG2. Mm -hmm. uh, and so you have the, the host standing in front of the green screen, uh, like you were saying earlier. So now what we wanna do is tell that switcher, okay, the green screen behind him is what we want to key out. Okay. Uh, that is the value we want. So right now what we're gonna do is, first you need to uh, decide what key you want to put as your uh, key that you wanna manipulate. Okay. So in this instance, we'll use key one. So okay. over on your left hand side, you could hit key select or key one select. Okay, gotcha, that's these four buttons that we said here. So Perfect. all right, I'm gonna click uh, key one. And if you can't see that, I'm working over here. I've got my key select buttons and I'm select key one. All right, so I've got key one selected. So what does that do? Uh, so what you're doing is you're telling on the right-hand side of your panel, you will see key one, two, three, and four. Okay, you yep. Are, with this, you are assigning a source to that specific key button. Um, gotcha. So then we'll see that in a second. So if down on your source uh, bus map, uh -huh. if you can select... CG2, since that's where our chroma key is coming from. Okay. Uh, look for CG2. Yep, so I've got CG2. Now I've got three rows of buttons. So which one would I use to actually select that for my keyer? Because on my bottom row, that changes what's in the preview window. On my top row, uh, that just takes it live to screen immediately. Right. So you want to use the very top row Okay. Which is your, your key aux bus. Got it. Uh, so that's how, when you're in key select mode, that's how you are selecting a source. Okay. Uh, go ahead and click on that. So if I click that. Okay, so I notice it just changed over here in this uh, key area. Instead exactly. of uh, black, it says CG2 now. Perfect. So that is what, how you can confirm that you have the right source selected on the, uh, the right keyer. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put it on air and see what happens. And it looks like it already kind of worked. Yeah, awesome. So let's see, let's take a look at why it actually ended up working. Um, so if you look up in the top left of the panel view, you'll see the menu. Yep. What we're talking about. You see how it has a menu set up. It says basic mode, green color, and then INIT. Yep. Uh, basic mode, uh, the Carbonite comes with two specific modes for chroma key. Um, or the Chroma engine. So you have your basic and then you have your advanced. Uh, okay. We're gonna talk about the basic mode today, um, which is what most of our switchers Ooh, advanced are. has a lot of settings. Yeah, it's gonna, a lot. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm gonna switch back uh, to basic. It can be pretty daunting. So uh, just starting out with basic and then building on that information is super helpful. Got it. Uh, so yeah, on the next menu, you see where it says green color. Yep. Uh, so that is the chroma color or the preset color that we are selecting to be able to key. So okay. for instance, if you scroll through that, you'll see a couple different colors in there. Um, Got it. Yellow, green, cyan, blue, magenta, red. Gotcha. So uh, just to see the difference, say the color was set on red. Let's go to red. Yeah, so I was about to say, I was changing it, but didn't see anything changing on screen. Right. Um, these settings will not apply until you hit the INIT button. That is initialize. Okay. Um, initialize, another word, apply. I'm gonna go so ahead and press that. Like that. Okay, interesting. So now it's made exactly. the space transparent. <laughs> right. And a little bit so of his what? tie. <laughs> Yeah, and what that switcher is doing is it's looking for that red hue uh, to be able to key that out. Okay. You've told the switcher, this is the chroma color I want. Of course, that's not the color we want because the green screen is green. Uh, so let's go back to green. All right, and we'll go back to up. green. Okay, and uh, I hit initialize, I guess. That's correct. All right, 
hit that. Okay, so it's yeah, it's pretty close. Now it, it looks like he still has some green around his like the edges of his face and stuff. I'm gonna pull this up yeah. actually in uh, full screen. Yep. Yeah. So as you can see around him, you're seeing that kind of like that halo-ish look on him, almost like the shadow is green itself. Yep. yep. Uh, that, that actually has to do with your spill range. Okay. And you'll see that information right there. Yep. So mm -hmm. what you can do is, uh, if you drag that all the way to zero, see what it does. Actually, I'm going to do it from the uh, menu here, like we promised. Oh, great. Yep. Yep. Uh, so if you let's... go through that menu, search through. So if you go back there and you go over to foreground type. Uh, okay. And then now go down. Down. On okay. Your menu. okay. Now it says spill range. Yeah. Value. Spill, that's what you would like. Um, okay. So you can see the 11.6. So let's go all the way down to zero just to see what it does. Okay, cool. So all the way down to zero. That just makes it like more intense, I guess, the green yeah. halo. Mm -hmm. So what you're doing is you're telling it you're wanting a very specific value pull, like closer to that green screen. Okay. But what you're not think what you're not seeing is is that there is reflection coming. Anything light hits will reflect. Right, right. So you're seeing that reflection coming off the green screen, and it's hitting his skin. Gotcha. And that has to do with that spill range. So what you want to do is it's like, okay, well, that didn't fix the problem going or lowering it. Let's go ahead and raise it back up until we see that disappear off of his reflection. Okay. I'm just going to go real extreme here and see what happens. Sure. So I'm going real extreme. Oh, and he's starting to turn purple. Uh, yeah. So now <laughs> gotcha. happening. Yeah. So I'll go back down and find a happy medium. Right. So right there is still some more, a little bit of spill, but if you go right about here, it starts mm -hmm. to be a little bit more natural. Exactly. It was about 37%, something like that. Right. Okay. And that's definitely all dependent on the graphic that you're using. The chroma that's generated, you can have a low res or a high res. With a high res, uh, you get a little more of a desirable uh, effect when you initialize that chroma. Yeah. Uh, when you start getting into the lower res graphics is when you start seeing a lot of spill range or a lot of uh, pixelation, things yeah, like yeah. that. Gotcha. So, uh, so yeah, that's one way to fix that green shadowing on him or the spill uh, that's going on to the foreground. Okay. Uh, um, what's another example that we use uh, chroma for? Um, so a perfect example would be when we're doing name slides or sidebars, anything like that. Okay. Um, I think I have a name slide here. Let me go okay. ahead. And, let me actually just go ahead and fire it, see what happens. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that's not good. Now it's just blue on the screen. Exactly. And that's because the chroma or the graphics package that we used for that was using a blue chroma based on the... Uh, content that the creative team had made. Okay. So what we want to do is, okay, we know we learned how to initialize it. Uh, let's go back and okay. this way, go up to your menu. Hit the, all right. I'll hit the, let's hit the menu button. Uh, yeah, you can hit the menu button. Oh, it went back to the home menu. How would exactly. I get back to my key settings? So the best way to get back to the key is hit key one select, how we selected okay. that. Yep. Gotcha. All right. Now we're back. Exactly. Uh, that's a that's a quick way to just jump right back to it. Or while you're in that menu, you can hit key one select as well, and it'll actually jump you back. Gotcha. So, again. Um, so let's go ahead and look for blue. All right. Yellow, uh, green, cyan, blue. Okay. Okay. And before we initialize, take a look um, on the right hand side, top right. You're seeing all those faders and knobs. Yep, you're actually yep. seeing a value to each setting. Gotcha. Once we initialize this, the switcher is looking for the closest setting that keys out that color or that hue. Okay. So you'll actually watch it change on all of the settings. So go ahead and initialize that. Gotcha. All right. So I'm looking at this area. I hit initialize. Select. Okay. So the one that changed was foreground hue. Exactly. Um, so what's going on with that is... It was basically seeing it as, okay, what is the color uh, that I want to allow uh, to come forward, as mm -hmm. well as what is the color I want to remove 
in the background. Yeah, so yeah. foreground, you're always thinking of what is the actual graphic, like the weatherman or the name slide. Um, and then your background is having to do with that chroma, uh, that chroma color or that background. Yeah. So with this, because blue and green, yeah, they're different colors, but they're still kind of close to each other. There wasn't much change to it uh, in relation to if you have a red, which is complete opposite of green, you're going to see a drastic change. In gotcha. this. Mm -hmm. um, so let's do this before we move on from like chroma key. Um, let's just show what the switcher is doing in the background. Um, let's go back to our weatherman example. And I'm, so, I'm running these from the same computer, just so you guys know. Got it. So uh, what we can do is we got that selected. All right. So what we want to do is we want to change that back to green, since it's a green green screen or green okay. chroma. Setting back to green, hitting initialize. Perfect. Okay. Pretty, I'm going to bring my spill range back up because it was uh, it's looking a little green still. Exactly. All right. It's pretty good. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So now the big thing we want to look at is uh, what is the what is the carbonite doing in the background for this when we're making those changes? Okay. So there's actually a button down there that says show alpha right okay. there in the middle of the screen. Uh, if you That's see right any, here. yes, go ahead and click on that. Okay. Uh, okay. So now in preview. Exactly. I get that Luma mat right. looking yes. thing. And so that's what's telling you is where white is opaque, where it's completely visible, the black is transparent. Gotcha. In our instance with the chroma, we assign that black area to be green with the green chroma or yep. whatever you decide to use. But at no pun intended, in black and white, this is nice. what the carbonite is doing. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so with Perfect. the white, that's going to be visible. With the black, it's not visible. The background, what we select, which is on Splash, is what is visible in that transparent area. Perfect.